Hello, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation with a uh, essentially a replacement uh, note on getting started uh, for our students in our Inland and Coastal Navigation course on getting started with OpenCPN. There is a new version with a slightly different interface and um, the other video was too long. So with that said, so we go to here, uh, go to opencpn.org. Uh, you go to downloads. The installation process here is a uh, very simple. You go to the current version, and there's a Windows and a Mac version, and you can just uh, uh, you can just uh, click this download, and then as soon as it's here, just you know double click it again. And uh, that will install the program. Uh, let's see why. Oh, it's not quite running yet. Okay, so that will install the program. And so that's all there is to it. Mac and PC, both equally easy. On the Mac, you will have to go into your settings and give it permission to op to install. But you only have to do that once. That's in your security settings on the Mac. In the PC, that's not the case. Okay, so then uh, what we want to do... Uh, let me get rid of this. I have it installed. Okay, so now in preparation for uh, this chart and other charts, I would go, go to some folder. Now, I, I chose Downloads, my Downloads folder, but you could choose Documents or, or wherever you like. Uh, you just have to know, remember, where you did it. I put my charts in the Downloads folder because I don't want them backed up. But then again, I have, I have many hundreds of charts, and I just don't want to put those in the backup server. So I put them in the downloads and I don't back up downloads. But that it doesn't matter where you do it. So you make a folder and all of our charts, all of our charts are going to go into the same folder. That's, that's going to be extremely valuable practice going forward to keep all charts in the same place. So in the charts folder, then make two more subfolders, one called ENC and one called RNC. ENC and RNC. These are two. These are the vector charts, and these are the raster charts. We will look at those differences later on, but we might as well start out in the first place with this organized. And the training charts that we're going to use uh, are raster navigation charts, so we're going to put the charts here in the raster navigation charts folder, like that. Okay, so now then go to, and here's where you can get the training chart. There is uh, two training charts that's, po that, well, one that we use, that's 18465TR, and that you get from starpath.com forward slash 18465TR, and I'll put that in the uh, description. The other chart that's used uh, on the East Coast, and actually a lot of places in the U.S., is a, is a chart called 1210TR, and we have also made a training chart, a raster navigation training chart for it. So we have made both of these charts uh, for uh, schools to use in their training. So this is a 1210TR. Everything we're doing right now for the 18465, you can do for the 1210TR. So here's here's the page. This page you're actually going to to download the download the chart, the BSB or what or RNC chart. That's actually the workbook page where we have a we've published a workbook that has a lot of practice problems, uh, charting problems based on that chart. Likewise, on the 1210TR, we have a workbook on it, and these notes here are resources on, on these workbooks. So here we are, 1210TR, that's the one for our course. Uh, then just click this, that's, a, that's that, and that's going to download that file there. Now in principle, now I'm going to the downloads, so that should have gone to the downloads. And it okay, it's here. Now I have to for the for the Mac. Well, now again, I'm using Macs more these days than PCs, and so I forgot a lot of the PC standards, especially on Windows 10. I can't quite figure out how they do their. Uh, they have a decompressor built into the program. Um, you, I, I don't, I'm not sure exactly how to use it. So I'm going to do this a little bit different way. Um, on the Mac, it's very easy. You just double click this and it opens and builds a folder. But for the PC, uh, I'm, I'm just going to take this folder here and drag it to the desktop. Okay. Then, then what I'm going to do is unzip it on the desktop. 
you know, like that. So once I have that folder unzipped, I'm just going to put that back here too. So um, that's that. Uh, and so now I've got the f this. This is the compressed file we downloaded, and this is the uh, the folder that's inside this. That's the, what we want. Again, those of you who are experts on the PC and uh, extraction using the default uh, unzipper, um, this this you'll have better ways to do this. Now I'm back here. I'm going to go to charts, and then I'm going to go to RNC, and then I'm going to drag this guy back into here. Now again. I'm sorry this has taken me so many steps. This we don't need anymore. You can put that in the trash. So there we are. We have downloads where, or your documents, wherever you have it. You have charts, RNC, and then when I open up this, I have several files. This is the main chart program right here, 20 some 27 megabytes. This is a descriptive uh, text that has some information about the chart and the scale on the chart and so forth. And uh, this is a boilerplate that uh, comes with these things. Uh, so forth. Okay, so that is that. Yeah. Okay, so now we can go back to the program, which we've installed, and that's here, OpenCPN. And now when, this, when you first download this program, you have this rather ugly, or not ugly, let's just say, you have a very low resolution uh, background or base map image. Uh, there's other videos we have that show how to change this to a beautiful high resolution base maps. That's, that's built into the program, frankly. And we have other videos that do that. We don't need to bother with that at all right now. So right now we'll go up here and this is the new layout. Um, and you would click this wrench as your options and then go to charts. And from charts, you see it doesn't know that we, well, it doesn't have any charts here. So we have to tell it where we're storing our charts. So we go here, add directory, and uh, oh, this is even the right place. So there's charts, there's RNC, and there's that one. Now, as you get a bunch of these charts, a bunch of the RNCs, you could just, you could just assign this folder and it'll take everything that's in that folder. But for now, let's just be a little more specific and take just that folder. Select folder. Okay, that's it. Now it'll find that chart. Add director. Oh, we don't apply. That's done. Okay, so there's our chart. And um, to make this, uh, okay, let me go. Go down to this button over here. This is a new one. And turn off, when we have just one chart, Again, when you have a lot of charts for an area, you have a different philosophy than right now. But for now, getting started in the course, we just have one chart, this one, right? So shut off all of this, uncheck. In other words, shut off the quilting, shut off the chart outlines, and so forth. Uh, and that's all we need right now. Uh, the other thing you might do is over on this panel here, uh, you can right click. I've right clicked this and you see this is showing what's here. Now I've shut off the, uh, the, the man over board marker. Now when you're underway you would of course leave that man over board marker up there. You'd want that prominent and you want it to be just like it behaves now. In other words once you click it it's hard to get rid of it and uh, you don't want to get rid of it easily when you're using it underway. But when you're just training and working at home I, I would shut that off. Shut that off and it's going to remind you uh, yes hide it because it it really is a safety feature trying to keep it up there but you'll end up clicking it and then spending extra time trying to get rid of it otherwise so that's that we'll show some other uh, other feature obviously a lot of other features about the program later but that's how to get started and get this one chart there we have uh, other videos and other discussion about how we're going to use this later <laughs>